hello guys I, I hope you're all doing great welcome to my channel in this uh, video I am going to show you how to protect a folder with password on Mac operating system are you ready so let's get started I have a folder I want to uh, protect with password with this folder so how we can do that uh, click on launchpad and search for uh, disk utility okay open that once you open the disk utility you should click on file here new and then image from folder okay click on that and my folder uh, which i want to lock is on my desktop this one select the folder and choose and here you should change the name if you want if you don't want you can uh, put it lock or i will rename it for example uh, protect with pass okay we are to do you want to save okay on desktop you can choose wherever you want by selecting so encryption which is none at the moment you have to choose 128 bits which is actually recommended you can choose 256 bit uh, more secure but slower if you want to access the file it's uh, a little bit slower i'm going to choose 128 so here you should type the password i'm going to give the password okay verify and choose so image format uh, here you have different option which is read and write if you want to access the file or read uh, or uh, edit the file you can choose uh, read and write if you don't want to change in or rename or edit something you can choose read only but i'm going to choose read and write so save it's creating an image okay so it's done close the disk utility as you can see it's created uh, an image file which is protected with password you can you uh, once you protect the folder you should actually uh, delete the uh, original folder okay okay i'm going to i deleted already and now if you want to access the file open it it will uh, ask you to type your password one two three four see it's like if you have an image you have to mount it's working like that i mounted actually the, the the folder now you can access as you can see i have nothing in my folder it's empty if you have files you can see your files once you finished you should eject eject the image that's it i hope you will like it if you have any question drop them in the comment section and i will be very very happy to help you out with that see you in the next video